I know. Before you say anything, this is this proactive. I've had a pimple like what all week. I'm stressed beyond belief. It just it just sweltered into just just monster, and I refuse to wipe it off for this race review because uh, I just simply don't care. So that out of the way, uh, we got Bristol Dirt. I already expressed my thoughts about the truck race, um, which apparently is my most divisive video in my entire review history because of how many people just disagreed with it. <laughs> Even though we had seven green flag laps on average before a yellow. So I don't even know what to say beyond it. It was just frustrating to watch. Cup race was a little bit better. I'll definitely say that. It's, it's definitely got a lot more merits and just more just good things. But again, it, this, it still kind of has the same problem with a lot of yellows. Um, a lot of bizarre just inconsistencies on what is a yellow, what isn't. Sometimes a single spin would be yellow, sometimes it wouldn't. Sometimes there will be a big crash, like at the end of the race. Ryan Blaney gets turned because Chase Briscoe just plows right through him because he is an absolute idiot and just dunce when it comes to these late race um, runs. He did the same shit at Coda, uh, did the same shit at this track last year. He just can, and same at the Indy Roval in 2021. He just continues to be an absolute bonehead on track. And someone should go bust his ass for this. But nope. Nope. Didn't happen. So, yeah. Uh, just random inconsistencies of it. It does seem like NASCAR at least made some effort to not throw out yellows for spins. Like a single spin. So I appreciate that because it was getting ridiculous. So... I will give them a little bit of, 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 of positivity for that. Though, unfortunately, um, there's another problem with that later in the race we'll get to. But stage one, really uneventful. I don't really remember a whole lot of it. It was just kind of kind of like Richmond, just very average. Not a whole lot to write home about. Stage two is, again, kind of like Richmond, probably the best part of the race. There was at one point a three to four car battle for lead. And it was glorious. There was crossovers. Now, that's like the racing shit I love. Not just like plowing through people, die bombing, and then wrecking them. Just, just pure, hard, fair racing. One driver will stand in the corner, do a slide job, clear. Another person will come back and make the pass. Like, just, just really good back and forth. And it was fantastic. What happens is... We get a stage end that ruins that flow. Just this great stretch of laps just gets ruined because of a stage end. So unfortunately, that one really cool aspect of the race kind of gets affected because we have to throw yellows. And it's stupid. And will forever, always, and will be stupid. So, that's unfortunate. The last stage was kind of the same. Um, Fox was another just... Kind of annoying with the broadcast, just not showing things or taking a very long time to show things. Michael McDowell made an amazing 360 spin. He did it twice. The first time we got it right away. The second time it took like five minutes for them to even find a replay, which... Congrats, we got something, but why why did it take almost five minutes? And that was after a commercial break, too. Like, I don't understand that, but that was, that was cool. Michael McDowell, an absolute wheel man in terms of just driving the car, so that was cool. That was like one of the big highlights. Uh, Ryan Priest and Larson got into it because... Larson chopped Priest's nose off, and Larson continues just, he's so incredibly talented, but man, he does some incredibly stupid shit on track, and it's almost, it's kind of baffling, and he kind of got his comeuppance tonight with all this with uh, Priest, and obviously Priest didn't admit to it, even though, in the Denny Hamlin podcast, NASCAR said that drivers can say that they intentionally wreck someone after race because they're in the heat of the moment, so technically Priest, by what NASCAR's random rules are now, that they change on a month to a year basis, at least at this point in time, Ryan Priest could have said, yeah, I meant to wreck him. And that could have been like a deemed heat in the moment thing. It would have gotten like cleared or something, so there wouldn't have been a penalty. Um, now, I watched Denny Hamlin uh, de actually did a mental thing. He talked about the whole like the appeal process, how that all went, and that was very fascinating to watch. Don't like Hamlin, but that was very fascinating to watch to understand that stuff. So yeah, Priest could have technically said it, but he didn't. And it's probably smart on his part, but that's a whole thing. Um, yeah, so that was that was funny. Um, and the rest of the races was kind of just plagued with cautions or just spins. And 
because the race never really had a moment to feel like just just to breathe. It just seemed like we always had cautions, and it it, it hindered the race. Was it as bad as the truck race? No, they I think they averaged like eleven laps before yellow came out. So that was that's technically better than the truck race, but it's a very low bar to, to overcome. And also the track still had problems again, where there's just a random like pothole. And I remember I watched I was watching his live. Austin Dillon went over it. And I don't know if he just hit it at a really random spot, but he hit it, and his car just went straight up the track. It was just bad. Not only enough that there's just a lot of wrecks and just just all that, but the track wasn't properly prepared, apparently, with that corner. So, at this point, I mean, it's it's basically been like this since Bristol was created. It's a gimmick. It's, it, was, it was made to draw people in because the spring race was dying. There's other, I mean, if we're going to be doing dirt races, can we at least go to a dirt track that is designed to be a dirt track instead of spending tens of hundreds of thousands of dollars to add layers of dirt and, and spend like ten or a thousand plus dollars on a on a choose drone that doesn't need to be a thing? Because apparently a cone and, and, and rope is just too much money. It's just like ridiculous. They're on this whole tangent about cost and trying to save that, and yet... We go to a, a dirt bristle that probably cost, I don't know how much, uh, just um, um, feet, miles of dirt. I, I don't know the logistics, but just an absurd amount of just cost. So I don't know. It's just, I don't know, it's just weird. But the race had its moments. It could have been so much better. It ultimately wasn't. But we're going to get into another thing that's kind of bullshit with this race is, again, the random inconsistencies of the, of the yellows and when they throw them. Sometimes it's understandable. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes they just stop altogether trying to do it. But then with 15 laps to go, they throw it for Kyle Busch spinning down in the pit road. Now, another driver did this earlier in the race. No yellow. But this time, there was a yellow. It's like every week. Every week we have some kind of like weird inconsistency and just... It just seemed like a very forced, just forcing that entertainment yellow to just make things wild and crazy. When the race up to that point, like, it was, it was okay. It's just baffling. And then that led into the last restart where that it, it made Chase Briscoe become an absolute moron and plow through people. And we didn't have that yellow, an unnecessary yellow. Because up to that point, it seems like it was established, okay, if a car spins down in the pit road, they're okay. Nope, not this time. Apparently, that was just just unless there's just something I'm not I'm not knowing because Fox didn't even bother to give a shit about understanding if there was more to it than that or if there was something else because they just didn't bother to, to show it. So you have to do like this whole like investigative journaling and like guy guy go on the dark web to like understand the concept of like what constitutes a yellow or if there's more information that I don't know. But did, did somebody throw up in the, in the racetrack that I don't know of? Like what brought out that yellow? Because it can't be just for Kyle Busch spinning. It just seems absurd. So that was unfortunate. Um, yeah, and it just it just turned. I mean, and it just and it just kind of went downhill from there. I might have been able to give it a seven, but with that BS yellow, Briscoe being an absolute idiot again, just plowing through people there at the end. Uh, Reddick just uh, doing a slide job and just putting Briscoe in the wall. It's like. How, it's just stupid, brain-dead, bonehead moves that just... I, I'm glad Bell won. Bell didn't bulldoze his way through the front. He, he, he I'm, I'm fine with that. Bell seems that... I mean, granted, he made a really stupid comment about Chastain being the, the fault of his incident at Richmond, which had, had nothing to do with it. It was really stupid. But goddamn, at least he doesn't raise like a complete fool. And I don't know if he earned it. I, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take him over freaking Briscoe, Reddick, or, or anything. But what's unfortunate is it the race was almost. It was like trying to be like good again, because <laughs> we were setting up for this really interesting finish. Because on that last lap, Reddick got a really good round of turn four, was closing in, and there were setting up something interesting. I, who knows what would have come of it? Because then there was a yellow, an actual fair, understandable yellow, because there was a car on track. I understand that. I'm fine with that. It's just a buzzkill. I'm sorry. It's just you know you're building up, you're crescendoing up into the, to the end, and something looks like it's gonna happen. It wasn't like you know it would be a whole different story. If Bell had like a two second lean, and they threw it through a yellow. It's like okay, well whatever. Bell was gonna win, but just that fact that they were, we 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 might have been able to get something interesting, and it got completely 
just d destroyed because of a yellow. Under a very reasonable, fair yellow, but it still hindered it. So I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it probably a five. It might have been a seven, but those that Kyle Busch thing, the Briscoe thing, the end, it bumps it down to a five. It probably, I mean, Grant, I gave the truck race like a one. This race had way more to offer, but it was still plagued with wrecks. And I do, I mean, when you have uh, the, the one the one dirt driver in the 13, he was saying, like, he's like a, a short a dirt track driver and stuff. He said, this, this isn't really dirt track racing. This isn't, like, what it's about. And it just, th these cars aren't made for it. It's like, yeah. But yeah, when you have these drivers or these, you know, dirt racers saying this thing, these types of things, then it makes you question, why are we doing this thing if these cup cars just aren't built for it? I don't, I don't know other than just, it's just for ratings. It's just to, I don't know. And I just, I'm just kind of bored of it. I'm tired of it. I mean... If they're gonna do shit like this, then go to go to a track that's made for a dirt track. Go to Eldora, go to Knoxville, go somewhere else. Would it be better than this? I I don't know, but I I don't know. It's it could have been so much worse. Could have been so much better, but I'll I'll put it right in the middle of five. It was it was uh, again just the ending just kind of hinders it. That BS yellow with Cowboys did not need to be a thing, and there was a little bit of good racing in stage two, so it it kind of gave me, like, there was, like, something happening. The truck race had, like, nothing to offer, so. Yeah, I'll give it, a, I'll give it, like, a five. It was teetering. I was thinking about a four, but I'll just give it a five. I'm just not in the mood to even think about this too deeply. Sometimes it just gets tiring to do these race reviews every week. And this maybe was one of them just by how my week was. Just very stressful, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm done. That's my thoughts wonder my uh, acne will still be here next week. So it could be like a permanent like co-host on the channel. That would be fun. I don't know. I'm done. Take care.